And now, First Warn Five Weather with meteorologist Samara Kokinos. Welcome back to Channel 5 News this morning. Your time is 644, and we are taking a live look outside here in Westlaco, courtesy of Sky 5, and you see the sunrise out there. Beautiful start to the day with those golden hues out there in the sky. Just a few clouds overhead, not too much out there. And temperatures are quite mild. We're currently at 70 degrees here in Westlaco with a calm wind. And taking a look at the rest of the valley, you see that it's not too shabby in La Grulla either. It's right around 69 degrees there as well as La Sada. Good morning to you at Hidalgo, waking up to 75 and at 71 to begin your day in Primera. Thing about it, we have a lot of humid air around us. So we're in that muggy, almost very humid category for the day. So it will make it feel even warmer as the day goes on. Doppler network is really quiet at this hour here in the valley. Zooming out, you can see that we have a stationary front well to the north of us, and it's just going to hang out there for the next couple of days. Staying close enough by that we'll have enough instability or that rockiness that we need in the atmosphere to kind of get a shower or a thunderstorm going along the sea breeze front each afternoon. And just just enough moisture to also see that rain activity. But for today, rain chances are not very high. So let's look at future track. We'll start the clock at six this morning. Not much activity. Activity popping up through nine o'clock this morning. We could see maybe a little bit of patchy fog, but not too much. Um, by noon, that's where we start to see maybe a few extra clouds, and you see that sea breeze front moving to the west, but you didn't really see much activity along that front in terms of rain. It looks like the rain chances remain a relatively low, uh, around 20% or so for today. So most of the valley is going to be on the dry side. But we do bump up your rain chances to 40% for Wednesday and Thursday, so a little bit more activity is expected then. Let me show you that. Let's take a look here. We're starting the clock at 8 on wet tomorrow morning, and we start the day with cloudy skies. It looks like the clouds will stay intact for much of the day. And then just after noon going into one o'clock, that's where we could see those spotty showers or thunderstorms develop all on the sea breeze front. Could meander around in the lower valley before moving into the upper valley, but notice it's spotty activity there. You could also have a few pockets of heavy rain at times with any passing shower or thunderstorm. A lot of this activity kind of winds down around 7 or 8 o'clock with the loss of that daytime heating to kind of keep everything going. So if you're headed out to the coast today, an east wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour help build the bay up to a moderate chop. Near shore waters will reach 2 to 3 feet. There are no advisories. High tide today for you fishermen is at 957 this morning. Here's a better look at your city by city forecast. 95 for Rio Grande City and McAllen today. 94 in Edinburgh to 92 in Wessico, Harlingen, and Raymondville. It will feel like the triple digits valleywide, even sitting at 91 today in Brownsville. It'll feel like the upper 90s, almost in that triple digit range. 83 today at the coast. The reason for that triple digit feels like temperature is because of all that humid air that will be here with us for the next several days. 73 is your overnight low. We'll be at 89 degrees for Wednesday and Thursday. That's just a couple of degrees above below the average for this time of year, but it's very short lived. We're back to 92 and 95 for Saturday. Here we go Sunday and Monday 96 degrees with a spotty thunderstorm each afternoon is possible, but Friday and Saturday look to have around a 10% chance for rain in the afternoon. Your overnight lows mainly in the mid to upper 70s for the next seven nights and that's your updated first one five forecast.